Hello everyone, my name is Noxwar and I'm going to be breaking down FlyQuest's new mid laner, Vikla, a Korean mid laner who was most recently starting for the KT Rolster squad in the LCK. Currently the overall feeling in the community is one of hype and excitement for Vikla to come into this FlyQuest squad. And while the community should be excited for him, I wanted to help give a little bit more context and an idea of what we should be expecting by reviewing his summer split in Korea. First thing I want to start off with was that Vikla did struggle in the LCK at first when KT Rolster first brought him on as the replacement of Area after week two. As you can see by the stats currently on screen, a lot of his stats place him somewhere in the lower mid pack of mid laners in the LCK. What I noticed though was post week five, while watching his VODs, Vikla really began to step it up for his team and the stats kind of reflect that during that time period. Some people may look at these updated stats and think they don't necessarily look all that great. And that's where I want to bring in some more context for Vikla for those who did not watch KT Rolster. A lot of how that squad operated was getting their AD carry aiming as many resources as possible to carry. This included Vikla making sacrifices for his team in order to win games. With that in mind, and considering the rumors for FlyQuest's new AD carry coming in, I don't think it's that far-fetched of an idea that FlyQuest may be aiming, excuse the pun, to adapt a similar playstyle in the LCS. To elaborate on the sacrifices a bit more, KT did not really ever have Vikla splitting the sides of the map all that far up or directing farm to himself outside of some of his Azir games. What you would typically see in most games was if a lane needed pushed out, Vikla would get it shoved and then return to wherever else he needed to be on the map, whether it be with aiming or the next objective or providing coverage from the mid lane. Long story short, Vikla is not a selfish player, yet continue to be one of the most contributing mid laners with the least amount of resources. Case in point, he was the third highest damage per mid in the whole league and still ninth in terms of overall gold share for his team. That is like really, really good. Taking a peek into Vikla's champion pool, his best champ was far and away Silas. He had a record of 6-1 on this champion, and of those 6 wins, 3 of them earned him MVP for that game. This is a very exciting because this past year, and I don't want this to be flamed towards Dekui, but FlyQuest did not play a single Silas game in 2022. Not one. Silas to me is an extremely versatile champion that should be in pretty much every mid laner's champion pool. So having someone who's coming in who not only plays it, but it's his best champ, that's very exciting for me. And hopefully it is for the community too. Two other champions that I really want to highlight for Vikla are his Azir and his Ahri. His Azir is a big reason why his damage per minute stat is so high compared to other Korean mid laners. And the Shurima shuffles that come with it were just the cherry on top. Couple this with his Ahri, who at times was a bit hit or miss, still had lots and lots of agency in Vikla's games. A lot of his Ahri games came in the first three weeks of play where he was still getting used to being in as the full-time starter for the KT Rolster squad. As the season continued on though, you could tell little by little Vikla was getting more and more confident in pushing his abilities as Ahri to get picks and start fights. To summarize all of this, FlyQuest is acquiring a mid laner who is still very young, still actively improving, whose playstyle on KT Rolster was that of a secondary carry role. If the rumors are to believe about FlyQuest's AD carry coming in, I don't see Vikla being required to change his playstyle all that much and should be able to slot in without much issue. And for anyone still concerned or cautious about the stat lines or any other reasons that I haven't listed here, it does need to be kept in mind that Vikla is coming to North America and facing North American mid laners. While he still needs to respect these players, they're also typically just not on the same level as your Chavis, your Showmakers, your Zikas, your Fakers of the LCK. The competition should theoretically be easier for him. Having said all of that, um, I'm looking forward to Vikla joining this FlyQuest squad. I think he will bring a lot of success to this organization because Lord knows they've deserved it over the past couple of years. Thank you everyone for listening. Please go check out Flight Check on uh, twitch.tv slash Flight Check Crew. Uh, we are a fan podcast dedicated to FlyQuest. We have an episode every single Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific. And hopefully I will see you guys there. Thank you for watching.
There's the ulti. Are they going to take down the carry of KT as best they can? They will be able to do it, but at what cost? Emperor's Divide flies forward, and now Beryl, he does have the bailout, but it doesn't quite work there. Aiming's able to help pick one up, though, for Vikla. Kingen goes down next, and Death, he just doesn't have the damage right now. Life going to get healed. Chain Latch is fantastic. Vikla! It connects! Oh, oh my, my god! god! This young mid laner, there's a reason he got Rookie of the Year.